Hello and welcome back to Vox Terra, aka Hidden Agendas. Today, the essential question is Project 2025 just a fossil fuel petrochemical industry plot? And if so, is it also truly a quote conservative close quote agenda? Or has the conservative identity been hijacked by those very business interests? To that end, my dear viewers and listeners, I will share with you an article, do some dramatic reading, and critique that article's critique. The article from one of the best journalistic websites that I know of called DSMOG whose tagline it used to be something like exposing the money behind climate denial. And that is basically what they do. And since they name these oil company names, you know they better dot their I's and cross their T's or they are risking getting sued into oblivion. The article revealed Shell Oil nonprofit donated to anti-climate groups behind Project 2025. And why would they do that? Well, because climate dismissal, climate denial, is really all about protecting fossil fuel industry money. Back to the headline. While funneling hundreds of thousands to right-wing causes, boo, hiss, boo, by Jeff Dumbicki, August 15th of 2024. And I am supposing Dumbicki is probably not a pen name. Jeff, is it? I don't know you actually, just acting familiar. Now pause at his phrase, Jeff's that is, right-wing causes. And he will also use the term conservative interchangeably. Two points have I. Numero uno, climate denial is not truly conservative. It is the fossil fuel petrochemical industry, their reckless elements, wrapping themselves in a conservative cloak. A very, very, very successful marketing ploy. In numero dos, using, quote, conservative as shorthand for bad, as I feel Jeff is doing in this article, and so many others do, is a mistake. And I will explain that, why it is a mistake. Back to the article. Shell is a multinational oil and gas producer, headquartered in London, that last year reported adjusted earnings of $28.25 billion. Its American subsidiary, Shell USA, operates Shell USA Company Foundation, which makes grants to American nonprofits. Shell USA Company Foundation has sent hundreds of thousands to the infamous Project 2025 advisors. And quoting Jeff, to religious right and conservative organizations. Mm, that phrasing implies inherent badness, I believe. But next, many of which deny that climate change is a crisis. To my point, oil industry wrapping itself in a conservative cloak. It's important to tease that out, in my opinion. Back to Jeff. 14 of those groups are on the advisory board of Project 2025, proposing radical changes to the federal government, including severely limiting the Environmental Protection Agency. Now that last bit, mate, that last bit, mate, I guarantee you, if more conservatives knew about this kind of shenanigans, it'd give them pause, mate. I know it. Of course, depending on why, they consider themselves conservative. Shell USA Company Foundation sent 
ten dollars between 2013 and 2022 to organizations that broadly share an agenda of building conservative power words of the article including quoting lgtbq plus rights restricting access to abortions creating school lesson plans that downplay climate change it's no big deal i guess Jeff, the author, is accepting the dominant narrative. Cultural battle lines, these are my words now, it does not have to be that way. Look, amigos, the Catholic Church, por ejemplo, depending on how we define who speaks for the church, it is my impression that this austere, massive organization is critical of aspects of LGBTQ plus plus movement. For example, I believe the church opposes hormonal treatments and surgeries on minors oh, with the bigoted monsters. They also oppose abortion and oppose the death penalty. They oppose the Iraq invasion and support transitioning away from fossil fuels and calls for climate action. My point being, Things could all be configured differently, and maybe they need to be. Returning to Jeff, other donees associated with Project 2025 include Students for Life of America, anti-abortion and pro-fossil fuels don't have to go together, but they've been tied together in an unholy marriage. Donees include the Heartland Institute. What a folksy sounding name, the Heartland you know how us folks in the heartland are? Good folks. Citing a different D. Smog article, Heartland is at the forefront of denying the scientific evidence for man-made climate change and has or does receive fossil fuel petrochemical money. And Jeff's article shows a screenshot of a Heartland Institute video. Climate change consensus? <laughs> Guess not. She must have figured it out better than NASA and NOAA. Another donee, the Texas Public Policy Foundation. Another folks' is sound a name. Which sotting again to you from a different e smog article gets other fossil fuel petrochemical moolah from Charles G. Koch Charitable Foundation, ExxonMobil, Charles Koch Institute, and the Heartland Institute. Kind of inbred or things circling around. Well, about that there, Texas Public Policy Foundation, Satin Gizmodo, they used AI to generate a fake dead whale sprawled on the beach near wind turbines. You get it, SA. Stop wind, protect fossil fuels. Deny climate change, stop, protect fossil fuels. Back to Jeff. Other groups that have received donations include the American Family Association. Now that is a name I could stand behind until I read which claims that the climate change agenda is an attack on God's creation. No fellow Christians. Nine, nine, the real attack on God's creation is the burning down of the planet through the excessive use of fossil fuels and runaway consumer capitalism. In Christian parlance, the money changers are in the temple. Shell's foundation also reported donations to Hillsdale College, a private, conservative, Christian school in Michigan that's listed as an advisory board member of Project 2025 and that is hosted prominent climate skeptics. Ah, the climate skeptics supporters gracing our wonderful Christian college. No, my Christian friends and Christian allies, climate denial is not Christian. It is the deceiver. Jesus said you cannot serve two masters. And Shell's foundation contributed 23,221 to the heritage Foundation, which published the Project 2025 document known as Mandate for Leadership, 
The, using Jeff's words, quote, conservative, close quote, think tank has deep ties to Donald Trump. Donald Trump. And I say it that way because he has deep support for the fossil fuel petrochemical industries. And a long history of attacking the scientific consensus on climate change. That's the Heritage Foundation that we're talking about here. My take, you ask, culture war is a trap. Being a check-all-the-boxes liberal or a check-all-the-boxes conservative is a mistake. Reality, even God's will, if you are comfortable putting it that way, does not, do not break down neatly into these paradigms. What is objective reality isn't our opinions about our social relationships. It is the fact that we are putting, citing Noah, approximately 40 billion tons of fossil fuels into our atmosphere each year. Noah, by the way, citing LA Times, is one of the organizations that Project 2025 plans to, or wants to, do away with, restructure, get rid of. Fossil fuel, citing Noah, citing NASA, all these things that Project 2025 is unhappy with, the deep state, really the deep state when it treads on those big business interests, then it's a deep state. When it's supporting them, oh, go, 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 state. The burning of fossil fuels puts out known heat-trapping gases, or greenhouse gases. And that hotter atmosphere we have now retains moisture more greedily than it used to. It holds on to more. So now it either rains, or it pours, or it just stays dry for a longer amount of time. The poles are heating up quicker than the rest of the planet. Because oceanic and atmospheric currents are dependent on that pull, from cold Arctic to warm equator. Now the oceanic and atmospheric currents like the jet stream are getting sluggish and out of whack. Weather fronts now often just linger longer and longer, blistering heat staying in place or pounding rains or dry, dry air. With that weakness of it, now hot tropical air pushes further north or poleward than it used to more often. An Arctic cold can just slump further south or towards the equator farther than it used to. The range of wildfires, the frequency, the intensity, the duration, all up with this heat. And we are seeing changes in disease vectors. Everything is destabilizing. And deny all that. Get rid of NASA. Get rid of NOAA. So no one knows this stuff about. No one knows what a greenhouse gas is. From a, what gas? I don't know. Well, everyone knows that the daily extraction, processing, refining, and burning of fossil fuels is producing volumes of carcinogens and deadly particulate matter. This stuff ain't good to breathe in. But that is the problem, ain't it? Everyone doesn't really know that. Because we have a media of politics dominated by powerful business interests. It is easier to line people up on culture war rather than Step on the toes of your sponsors. Therefore, in summation, my friend, in summation, the cause for the long-term survival of our species, which is the climate cause, needs to transcend, what a lovely word, transcend, and take firm root in not only liberal, but also conservative identities. So if you are a justice warrior concerned about Project 2025, rather than battle that conservative identity, I suggest, it is my suggestion, show instead, focus instead on the reckless elements of the business community and their interests lurking within Project 2025. Well, I hope you found this here video, YouTube, podcast, whatever, interesting, informative, enlightening, food for thought, if you shall. And if you did, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel. You have clicked that there notification bell so you know when I put up a new show, a new video. You are liking, you are commenting. Man, do those comments really help keep me going. And you're joining those two patrons at Patreon who are donating to this here effort. Thank you, Bell Legrissi and Environmental Coffee House.
You two really helped keep my morale up for this show. And as always, until next time, peace be with you.